What is up, farming family? How y'all doing today? Today, we're talking about bread and butter, specifically how butter's made. Bro, what are you doing? You're supposed to be talking about the pickleball part of your name, not the farmer part of your name. Oh. If you're interested in getting his paddle, if you use farmer at checkout, that will get you a 10% off. I also will get a kickback from that. Thought I'd let you, let you know that. But yeah, this paddle is thermoformed, foamed edge, and it's a unibody design paddle. So it's sturdy. The weight is 8 ounces. The size is 16.5 inches by 7.375 inches. The face material is Nano T700 raw carbon fiber. The thickness is 16 millimeter, which is what I prefer. The core is polypropylene. Uh, it's 5.5 inch grip length. And it's 4.25 inch circumference, which is grip circumference. So when it comes to the power of this paddle, it's similar to all the other elongated paddles that I've used. When it comes to the Thermoform foamed edge ones, like the V7, Legacy Pro, the Carbon 1X, and this one. Since they're elongated, they have more plow through than the standard shape or the, you know, regular, sh the regular shape or the hybrid shape. So what you're going to do is when you swing, that's going to allow it to swing like, you know, a hammer. If you grab it halfway up, you're not going to get as much leverage on it. But if you grab it down at the bottom, you're going to have a lot of plow through. But if you just put the paddle out the block, reset or anything like that, it's not going to have any extra pop or well, that I felt. It's not going to have any extra pop or not much extra pop than the hybrid versions or the standard versions do. So for the bread and butter fills, this paddle has good solid drives and good solid overheads. It definitely will produce more than enough power for you to use it. Now, like you just heard with the power, I said that it has a lot of plow through whenever you're swinging or doing your serves, drives, etc. But when it came to control, I didn't have any problems whatsoever with this paddle. Like if I decided to go to a tournament today, I could just take this and I know that I would perform at the best of my abilities. My bad. I just scared my chicken. But yeah, dinking, drops, nothing is a problem with this paddle. I was sent the five hand, the five inch handle to begin with. And I liked it a lot. And then they sent me the 5.5 inch handle, which is what was released under the market. And I enjoyed both of them. I played with the five inch handle some and the 5.5 inch handle. Me and my brother switched them in and out. And we both played phenomenally with both of them. So I don't see control being any issue whatsoever. And if control is an issue, I will tell you. Because I hate paddles that aren't controllable. I would definitely say it still is more on the controllable side. I guess from where I do really enjoy using the Carbon 1X, it really just felt sort of similar to me. This thing generates a lot of spin. I'm far enough where you can't see, but there is ball dust galore on this. The ball is going to dip. It is going to curve. You are going to slosh. You're going to be able to do everything you want to do with this paddle, which that pretty much goes for all the Thermoform foamed edge paddles. They're all performing crazy good when it comes to the spin numbers and being able to noticeably see the difference in spin from the Generation 1 raw carbon fiber paddles. Calm down, girls. There's not too much to say about the spin, honestly. It's a Thermoform foam edge paddle. With raw carbon fiber face, it's definitely going to get you more than enough spin. In terms of mobility, these elongated paddles are a little more heavy in the hand when it comes to swing weight. So when it comes to moving it around in hand battles, if your hands aren't a little bit faster than the person in front of you that's using a hybrid shape or a standard shape, you might lose a hand battle. But if you could get, you know, some pop behind it, you're going to get enough plow through that you're going to be able to finish shots. It's not even really going to matter. So yeah, this is a little bit heavy, but it's not like the Pro Drive Carbon. After two or three games of it, your wrist is sore. My wrist hasn't gotten sore playing with this yet, so I don't see that really being a problem. In terms of durability, I don't really have much to say. I'm going to post the link up here in the corner. It's my unibody design, or what is a unibody design video. I'll try to break four different paddles. This bad boy right here is one of them. Not successful, just letting y'all know. So it is pretty durable in terms of that. So you're not going to have to worry about it snapping at the handle like the PB Pro paddle that we've been using did and stuff like that. And I just smacked the mic. That's going to be great. But overall, it's a pretty durable paddle. You could tell by its construction, just, you know, filling of it. When it comes to customization, you can tell I added an overgrip. I do that with every paddle. I feel like with these elongated thermoform foam edge paddles, after using, you know, a decent amount of them, I don't like putting lead tape on, on them at all. I prefer the lead tape on the throats of the hybrid and the standard shape paddles. But when it comes to these, I don't really want to add any more extra weight because they're already pretty heavy in terms of swing weight. 
So for the price of $165 without a code, this paddle is definitely well worth the money. I really do enjoy using it. I enjoy the elongated handle and the paddle face. So I would definitely recommend this paddle. Yeah, but the price is $165 with, you know, without my disc, you know, discount. And that is crazy good considering there's other companies that are coming out with paddles right now that are going to be up 200 plus. I'm not going to name names. Y'all know who I'm talking about. But overall, this is a great valued paddle, especially considering it's very similar to, you know, the Carbon 1X, Legacy Pro, and paddles of that similar make. And the design on this thing looks sweet. Like, look at that. Look. Even the chickens like it. Not really. They're too worried about picking up corn. Yeah, overall, this has been my review of the Bread and Butter Filth. This is a filthy paddle. Can't even lie. I love it a lot. This one and the Rhombus R3 Pulsar are my two favorite paddles to go to right now. But until next time, stay safe. Have a good day. Drink plenty of water. Peace, y'all.